Hi, gorgeous beauty. It's me, Robin. Robin Hallett, intuitive healer and light sparkler at robinhallett.com. I am sending you the biggest hug, so much love, so much sparkle, and reminding you right in this moment, you are a precious gem. Your life matters. You matter. How you're doing matters. What you're needing matters. You matter. And this guided meditation today is for you when you've got stuff going on and you're feeling panicked, terrified, um, trapped, uh, resentful, um, because somebody in your life is making things difficult. Maybe they're over the line. Maybe they're requesting too many things from you and you don't know how to say no. Or you know how to say no, but you still, you know, you still feel like crap because it's really hard to say no. So the healing today, and it's really a healing, but what we're going to do today is to help heal a little more and strengthen your core a bit more and help you to you know, connect with the spirit you are, the light that you are, and set yourself a little bit more free. You, beloved, seriously, are you listening to me right now? You're here to live your life for you. You're here to ride the journey for yourself. Your job, if I could bring God in or spirit or your guides and angels and channel them for you right now, which is kind of how I do this anyway, would say you're here to live in a most lit up way according to what makes you crazy happy. And that light that you shine back to me as source is so yum, 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 yum. It's thrilling. That's the way you're supposed to be riding. But you know, I know how that is, that there are people in our lives who make it hard. They come on with their guilt trips or their um, loaded statements, you know, their words say one thing, but the energy is something totally different. Maybe you've tried calling them on it and they kind of gaslight you with that, what? I didn't say that. Well, I didn't say that. I didn't do that, you know, but you know what's going on. So I just want to affirm that, you know, you're not wrong. Your vibes never lie. The feelings you have are never miss, miss, uh, firing, but we don't want to, you know, betray ourselves to continue the pattern of betraying ourselves because somebody else is scary or challenging or demanding or we just are freaking awkward about how we how do we do it how do we say it how do we say hey i'm just not that into you or how do we say hey i'm busy or how do we say hey i made we made plans but you know what the truth you're thinking the truth is i said yes when i meant no how do we do it or how do we say, it's not my problem. I know that you want to be with me, but I don't want to spend my time that way or I don't have time. So we're going to tune in right now and do this healing together. Love you to place a hand on your high heart and just <sighs> let's take a breath and let it out again. And let's just feel into how you doing, kiddo? What's happening right now? Let's take a scan of, you know, the last, maybe you got something. Maybe you're here watching this video because you got something that's going on and you came to this one for help. But if not, and you're just listening along, take a scan of the week and the people in your life. I'm going to do that with you. And I'll say it's been a bigger week for me, boundaries wise and stuff, kooky things wise. It's been tough for me too. I've lost a little sleep this week. <laughs> um, I've been afraid this week. I've been worried this week about how I'm going to do stuff. 
So we'll just keep returning to the breath, okay? Breath is like the doorway to God. So when you don't know what to do, you breathe, you breathe, you breathe. You just keep breathing. So anywhere in your body, if it's feeling, you know, rumbly or tight or something, you can place another hand. I just put one on my belly. Take another breath. And let's just bring our awareness to the now, right here and now, right now, what's going on? So you can think about this person or this situation or whatever you're feeling right now, whatever you're going through right now, your feelings. And let's be a witness to that. Let's make it like it's on a TV screen or a movie screen. We're watching it. You and I are together right now. We're just sitting here breathing and we're watching the movie of what's been going on. You know, it comes to me to remind you that you're not here to get a perfect score in life. It's okay if there are places where you're just like, I, I am so inept. <laughs> I have said that to myself. Some I feel so inept, you know, and it's, I'm not making an I am statement to affirm something negative. It's just real. It's just real. You know, you just feel like, ah, I just don't know how to do this. And I feel stuck and I feel scared and I feel trapped. And I, yes, I feel embarrassed or ashamed, but don't you dare. It's okay to have that noticing, but let's not go there because you are lovely and a heart of gold you have. And I want you to spend that gold all on you. That's why we're doing this. So we're not going to judge you and we're not going to be mean to you or beat you up more. Okay? Promise? Pinky swear? I'm not doing it to me, but I just noticed, man, there are really places where I just, you know, life threw a curveball and I don't know how to respond. So we'll be with those. Come back to the breath. I can hear little birds and my fountain out in the garden going and the wind is blowing. What's happening on your end? I'm noticing that person that's been kind of on my mind and heart and bothering me a little bit. They're not here. They're not in the room. It's just us. Take another breath. It's just me and you. Now. What would you do if you didn't have to be wrapped up in this? What would you be doing? I like to look at it like a choice. What would you choose instead? If you didn't have to do the dance with that one person. You know, if you didn't have to feel so obligated what would you do? I would play more. I would go to the beach. I would make art. I would cook amazing meals. I would go to the farmer's market. You know, I would take lazy time for me. Hmm. And why aren't we doing that? Hmm. Let's get curious. Why aren't we doing that? Ah, the first thing that comes to me is I've been ensnared in this story with this person. I've been worried and wrapped up and angry emails. Sometimes I get angry emails, you guys. It's hard to believe, isn't it? <sighs> you know, and it's upsetting. So because I've been on that, I haven't had the energy or the desire or the zeal to go to the farmer's market and buy those fresh tomatoes and make that basil 
tomato salad that I love and, you know, enjoy a glass of Prosecco with my husband on the patio. And, okay, that sounds nuts. But we're not nuts. We're not judging it. But let that energy realize itself to you. Holy crap. That's why? And that's what I'm not doing? No. Uh-uh. So this is how our power comes to us. This is how we realign with our inner alignment. You know, we take our energy back. And we learn to say, even though this is going on with this person, with this situation, with this, you know, wacky du jour, you could call it the whack du jour, because every day brings a new opportunity of whackness for us to practice on, doesn't it? <laughs> Isn't it amazing sometimes how, like, you work through this one thing. I'm fixing my hair. Wait a minute. How you work through this one big thing and then your mind is there with the next upset. You know, every day we'll have a new challenge like that. And it's up to us to know that we have power and we are um, empowered to choose again. Uh, you may know that I study the Course in Miracles and I love the practice of um, saying to myself, Robin, you are responsible for what you see and how you choose to interpret what you're seeing and how you choose to move in the world. And that's a very loosely based uh, statement that's in chapter 21 if you have the book. It's up to me. And if it doesn't feel good, I am not going to go in that direction. And the most important thing is we take care of you in this moment. Sometimes you just have to not respond. Sometimes you have to um, delete the email. Sometimes you have to block the um, phone number. I know it's hard but we're making choices and every move is a choice either towards love or fear. And I want you to buy those tomatoes at the farmer's market and get some special basil and olive oil and get your favorite um, special sparkling water or Prosecco or a little rosé and enjoy and not be there in that moment thinking about that other stuff, you know, and this is our practice, and it's a big deal. I know how hard it is sometimes. It's hard for me too, and you know, it's so tempting to say, really, after all this time, sometimes clients say to me, Robin, I'm so surprised to hear that you still struggle with this, or that's so upsetting to hear you woke up feeling sad today, because you know, I can see their mind is working towards this idea of perfection. We don't have to, we're perfect now. I'm perfect. You are so perfect right now with this anxiety, with this depression, with this anger, with this, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what to do. You are. It's just a matter of, are you going to give your energy to it or not? So let's take another deep breath. And you know, we like to take our arms up high like this and whew, just pull some energy down. <sighs> Grounding yourself back down. You can do this with your hands. You can shake, shake, shake with your hands to shake out some of that energy. Um, we could stand up and stomp our feet, kick our legs. You know, we want to release some of the tension we've been carrying about the story of what's been happening and claim our healthy life force. So deep breath. And just let wherever, whatever you're doing, put your feet on the ground. You might be standing in the bathroom putting makeup on listening to me. That's great. Connect with your feet on the ground. And, you know, I invite the light. Just say it. I invite the light. I invite the light. Breath. I invite the light. All is well in this moment. I'm a spark of the divine and I've got this. I don't want to leave you without one more piece. 
Do you have a person that's freaking you out a bit right now? Do you have someone you're upset with right now? Someone you don't know what to do with right now? Okay, so this is for that. I call on my guides and angels, those who help me and support me and love me and are ready to help me go to the next level with this issue. I am interested in claiming my love and my joy and my delight. I want to buy those tomatoes at that farmer's market. I want to celebrate all the juicy joy in my life. And so I request that you help me. Please help me. And I ask the guides and angels for this person that has been such a challenge in my life. A dark angel, if you will. Somebody who's helping, helping to awaken the shadow in you. The things we need to work on. A dark angel, I call them. To help this person dissolve some of this energy with me. Please help us both to be in a place of peace and light and joy and to continue on our own sacred trajectory of our journey. I wish us both peace and happiness and ease. And thank you for helping me release this energy and choose again. And please remind me through all the fun ways that reminders come from you to me to do my practice and stay in my lane. And please do the same for them as well. And thank you. And so it is. You can trust. If you do this prayer with me, just rewind and do it again. Rewind and write it down. Whatever you need to do, do this prayer with me one time. Sincerely, miracles will happen. That's it. You don't need to keep praying it again and again and again and again. One and done. And then you remind your little inner self, sweetheart, we already did it. We're not going there. You know, you turn off a song you don't like listening to. Just like that. You click next. You thumb something down. You know how to do this, baby. You do. You're doing a great job. It takes courage and a lot of spark to be on the journey in the way you are. And you're doing this, okay? Be proud of you. You're doing fabu. That's what I like to say. All right. Bye. You did great today. And be proud. All right? Be proud of yourself. Good job, kiddo. Now let's go to the farmer's mart and get some tomatoes. All right. I'll see you next week. It's Robin. Bye-bye. It did it again. Every time I go to say goodbye to you, it's like a cosmic funny thing, isn't it? Okay, bye.